Welcome back everyone to my playthrough of Hexen, Death Kings of the Dark Citadel, which is an expansion pack or expansion game for the Hexen game. And I'm playing as Cleric on Cardinal difficulty using GZ Doom. Today's level, Hub 1, Sump. Let's go. Okay, as you remember from the previous uh, part, we finished the prologue level for this hub, which is called Ruined Village, and we teleported here in this room that contains four windows. Each of the window will lead us to the offset level for this hub level, which is called Blight, by the way. And uh, also we have a puzzle here, the solar system puzzle to be exact. We have to collect four gemstone planets in order to solve the puzzle and proceed to the next hub. Also, if we want to visit the secret level in this hub, we need to find and place the fifth gemstone planet, which we will do later. Now, since I'm playing as cleric this time, I'm interested in collecting all my weapons as soon as possible. So far I have only two of them. And the third weapon can be found in the level called Sump, which is a swamp level. And it is located in the northern, northwest area of this hub level. So that's why I will go there and jump into this window first. As you can see, the flechettes that uh, I use as cleric act differently than they, than they do for the mage, right? And uh, I took some damage, so I need to heal myself. This area is always tricky, especially when you use flechettes like that. So in order to access the level, we need the swamp key. So let's go and find it. Behind the door there will be a brown serpent. So be careful of that. Also here you will find a couple of quartz flasks that we need. And two more brown serpents behind the ba the bars or the grill. Now, if we step down in this slimy area. We have to press the Korax icon in order to proceed, but it will reveal a dark area with uh, stalker bosses, so for that reason I will be using a torch here in order to make it, make it light. There are quite a few of the enemies here, but our goal is to collect this swamp key, which is right over here, and to escape the area just flip that switch. Some of the enemies will be respawned, but that's okay. We only need to kill them once here. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Now, before we jump into the portal that leads us to the level itself, be sure to explore the room with the portal, including this pedestal and the useful artifact, the Dark Servant. And now we can jump into the portal to get to the level. And this is the sump level. It has a nice cool effect of fog, foggy effect, which I like. And I will start with killing flying enemies. There also will be a lot of stalkers here, so... Or stalker bosses, rather. So be careful. Oh no. They are firing from the distance. I'm gonna just stand here and wait for the stalkers to appear. That's the easiest way I know of dealing with them. Just like that. So now let's go over here and kill these guys. Unfortunately I took some damage because I wasn't careful enough. Now, notice this large pillar in the center. It contains holes that can be filled with items. You have to play, find and place three fire masks into these places in order to complete the puzzle. And each of the fire masks will reveal an area either to the west to the north or to the east of this pillar so let's go and find these masks but first i'd like to deal with those slaughters over here behind the bars and i'm gonna be using peekaboo shooting tactic because slaughters deal a lot of damage or honestly and i don't wanna be killed by them Anyway, now let's go to the other side. You have to watch out, out the other slaughters on top of high ledges in front of you. I know, it's kind of taking long, but 
I don't know better strategy for this part. Alright, now I think they are dead. Let us visit their rooms, so to say. To do that, they just shoot these walls and they will open. So now we co can collect the items inside it. And now we can proceed. To this area. I will actually switch to flechette because of the next cluster of items over here. Now we can move inside. But the doors are closed to the left and to the right of this passage. So all, all we left to do is to go straight forward and jump down, jump down into this poisonous lake. Trying to kill all the soldiers here. You should be very careful because Slaughters on top of the platforms, platforms, they also will be firing at you. See, just like that. Finally, we are on top of this mountain, slimy mountain, and can grab our first fire mask. So let's do that and get the hell out of this place. Because I don't like it and I'm not even gonna bother with killing all of the stalkers. Now let's go place that mask. Which will reveal the first area in this level and that would be this one but be careful of more stalkers over there there should be more of them I think Anyway, now we have a nasty business of dealing with this slimy maze with death pits and a lot of stalkers. So let's gonna do that. Alright, be careful of the death pits and the stalkers here. And stalker bosses, obviously. It's a nasty area. I'm gonna try to hug the walls in order to not get into the pit. Maybe I should go over here instead. Over here there's always a stalker and four quartz flasks. Eh, 
and over here another area with a useful item. Which is the Mystic Urn. Let me see. I would like to go here next. I think. Because I haven't been to this area yet. I think I came to the beginning. Looks like I can go over here. Or maybe I can, I don't know. Anyway, that's where you need to go eventually because you have to find a northern room and be careful of that pit. There will be a lot of stalkers here as well. I think I killed all of them, I'm not sure. But our goal is to flip this switch, which is required to progress to the next area. So once it's done, we can proceed. Now we have to find our way out of this maze. Yes, I think I'm going right. Now we can escape this area because it's done. And we find ourselves over here. Telefragging the... The Etin, right? Now we have to go back to the southern area because one of the doors will be open now. And those doors would be the left doors. I will switch to flechettes real quick because I will be using them against enemies in this, in this area. Let's wait until the cloud is gone, because I don't want to take damage from it. See how deadly those slaughter shots. Come on, there's one more. Oh, he escaped the cloud. Anyway, now let's explore this area.
collect all the items that you need, including a segment of Resverge, which is our force and ultimate weapon here. Let me see if I can kill that slaughter with a mace. I can. Oh god, there's one more. I didn't see him. But anyway. In fact, I'm gonna use those bracers just now in order to proceed. Now we can go over here. Looks like those moving platforms, they already killed one of the slaughters. One slaughter shot takes out 20% of health. Can you believe that? Now let's move on here, collect all the items. That's a cool trap, don't you think so? Now let's wait until the cloud is gone. And here we have our second fire mask. We are done with this area and now can exit. Also this lock leads to the cave level of this hub which we will visit later, so now we don't need to go there. Instead, let's place that mask and explore the next area. Which would be the northern area this time. There are quite a few stalkers inside, but that's okay. Where we need to... I'll leave you just there for now. Ugh. Where we need to go is over here to kill that green serpent. Or brown serpent, rather. Killing a brown serpent reveal 
an inner wall each time so eventually you will reveal the whole area here so what I like to do is unblock all the areas at once and make all the enemies in fight because there will be a lot of them here It's just very easy to do and also very fun. The enemies will start in fighting quite soon. I think that should be enough. Also, this area, con look at that, it contains our third weapon, which is Firestorm. And I'm gonna use it just now. It's very cool. It sets on fire every enemy. Now let's collect all the items here, including the chaos device. I'm gonna leave those mana items for now here and go deal with these stalkers. See how cool this weapon is. Now let's escape this area because it's done. Oh wait, I'm sorry, it's not done. We haven't flipped the switch. I collected the weapon but didn't pull that switch. Now it's done. Oh, there are these guys. Okay. See how fast it is to deal with them. Alright, now I will s save this mana items, these mana items for later, and now we move on, telefragging another enemy, and now we can go to the right side, or right passage, this time. So fun to watch. There are a lot of slaughters inside, as you can see. Anyway, now let's proceed. This door leads to another level on this hub, which requires emerald key, but we don't have them. Or have it. 
That's why I will skip that door for now. just a similar area that we were before, it's just on the other side of the level, the western side. And look, here we have the third and final fire mask. Let's be careful with this crusher and I would also like to go into this algo. I think it's it doesn't contain anything but I want to check. Yes, it has nothing inside it. Now we are done with this area except for these guys here. gonna play a little risky and use my mace against these guys. All right. Now when you take the teleporter you will be brought to a small place with another slaughter so be careful. See, he was ready for me. There was an icon of the defender here, but I already grabbed it, so now we can move on with this area. Let's go and place that last fire mask. Which will get us to the last area. That would be this one, the southern area. dozens of them here but now we can proceed to this area and there will be a lot of add-ins here let me see if I can use the flechette here Let me grab all the discs of repulsion real quick 
and switch to my serpent stuff because once I pull that switch a lot of efforts will be revealed and they always like to change direction how they fly right now let's drop down to the pit and collect these items carefully Anyway, I won't be probably collecting all of them. Now let's take this teleporter. And once again we are here, only this time. The pit is raised up and we can finally collect our gemstone planet. Which in this case would be sapphire planet. And that's it. That's basically the whole... Some level. Let me quickly heal myself, grab everything that I need. And we can exit this area. Just checking if there are no any secrets here. All right. And that was hub one, sum. The first out of four offset levels in this hub. We will continue our journey through blight next time so thanks for watching and i will see you there bye bye everyone